Hey, Harry, how are you? Hello, I'm okay. I said that's a very fine book collection behind you, I have to say. <clears throat> uh, congratulations on the film. Thank you. Really, really enjoyed it. Great, great fun. Um, uh, lots of reasons I can imagine for you as a filmmaker to get involved in this. But what, what, what was kind of the spark? What was it about this particular project that, that made you want to want to jump on board? Well, I always want to subvert a genre, I guess. And I hadn't had a go at really messing around with a period drama for a while and certainly not a period adventure and certainly not a period adventure that could have been a family film. And so I really liked from the very first time I turned that first page and I saw this girl on the bike addressing the camera in this very reckless, very particular and confident way. I thought, well, there's something new here. There's something very fresh about it. And I felt I could take that sort of eccentric, and I, what I felt like I was going towards was an eccentric feminist adventure that would feel like any other, wouldn't feel like any other family film. One that has a girl at the center, not a boy as it so often is. Um, and it was just an amazing place to play in, amazing world. I loved the Sherlock books. I loved that period, the late 19th century. Yeah, it was, there, it was going to be fun, but also at the heart of it, there was an emotional issue about a, a mother-daughter relationship and a very savage problem with a mother abandoning her child. But there was also uh, politics. Uh, the Great Reform Act, not the, um, sorry, the, uh, the what was actually the Third Reform Act um, of 1884. And I thought, well, in a year where we're going to be issuing some important votes, maybe this is relevant. Yeah, and I mean, it had, does have the the kind of uh, adventure aspect to it, but you're right. I, I really enjoyed the fact that there's a lot of subtext to it and led by, <clears throat> sorry, led by Millie and this mother-daughter relationship. I mean, how important are those things to you as a, as a filmmaker to not just... Uh, enjoy the spectacle to make sure you have the substance underneath which this, this film does have in spades it's like it's like everything like take the fight sequence the fight sequence is just a fight sequence you know two people kicking the hell out of each other but we managed to make it into a story of how a mother brings up a daughter so by intercutting linthorn and her and the mother and her as a little child you saw this tiger mother bringing up someone that she knew was going to face some danger in her life so yeah, the spectacle of a fight became a bit of a story and a revelation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I, I just wanted to touch on uh, uh, working with your amazing cast, particularly Millie, because she is a bit of a force of nature given given her yeah. success, but also she's a producer on this. You know, she's slowly becoming, you know, she's going into into womanhood, if you like, and she's becoming quite quite a big a big deal. I mean, what's it like working with her and how how does she differ to maybe some of the other younger actresses or actors that you that you've worked with in the past? Well, what she has in common with all the actors I love to work with is a, um, a freedom to be alive in the moment. Uh, there isn't, they, she doesn't get caught up too much in studying or the technical aspects of it. She has technical skills, but she's most important thing for me is that do I believe and care what's on the screen? Do I think this is a, an actor on a set or someone in the world? And she has the latter. She uh, loses herself in the moment, as they say. And so there's a reality and a spontaneity to her. And I think her youth, it certainly doesn't harm her. And I hope she'll, she'll continue to do it. I think she will, because you're right, she is a force of nature. And things that surprised me, her bravery surprised me. I suspected that taking this film on, on her shoulders, a whole movie, and being a producer would have um, intimidated her. She might have been scared and not showing it like Anola, who knows? But I thought she was brave in what she tackled. And she was brave in the amount of times she was prepared to have her head stuck in a water butt. And most crucially, she was, I suppose she was brave about showing her emotions. So I think the initial script, there was, there was less showing of true feeling. And what I love to do, and what runs through all my work, I hope, is how um, I uncover people's vulnerabilities, honesties, strong people pretending they don't need to be loved. Uh, well, thank you so much for your time. My time is up. Uh, good luck with the film and uh, yeah, lovely, lovely chatting to you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.